of the advantages of having a living donor is it allows them to be in control of the timing of the transplant. What if Ben changes his mind? Do you understand we are just talking about the possibility here? We won't be referring you to the transplant centre until Phil has been sober for at least six months. Once he's on the list, you'll then have to wait for a suitable donor. What if my dad ain't got that long? It is a risk. Unfortunately, because of the lack of donors, about one in five people on that waiting list don't... Yeah, but I read that 20% of live donors have complications afterwards. Because you were so insistent, that's what this meeting's about. For you to find out more about what's really involved. Yes, there are risks attached to any operation which the donor should be aware of. I can take you through each stage step by step, but I have to stress again, this is just so we can start making you aware of the process. The transplant centre won't even begin to consider Phil until the six month mark. The transplant centre will need to know quite a lot about you and your life in order to make the best decisions for you. And for Phil. Understood? Understood. I'll call you about a formal assessment once Phil's been accepted onto the list. Right. Mum? Is there something worrying you, Cathy? No, uh, it's nothing. Let's go then. Hey, landlord! Are we up? Been waiting ages. Your service is shit. To the point when you're ready, please, Carl. Where are you, son? I'm in Laura. I have a party, Guinness. So what do you want, babe? White wine. Make it large and parched. <laughs> You're not parched everywhere, though, are you? Right? <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> <Don't be fucked laughs> no, not everywhere. Who backs <laughs> you? Excuse me, there's a queue. Wait your fucking turn. You need more staff in here, Cinderella. Yeah, staff with tits, not moves. This place is way too <laughs> cockheaded. <laughs> well, he ain't much of a man. <laughs> Look at his girly hockey stick. <laughs> Mr. Thompson? Mr. Thompson? Can you hear me, Mr. Thompson? I need you to do it exactly as I say. Find a spot, lie down, and stay calm, OK? You all right, Mrs. Thompson? Yeah. What's your first name? Alice. Hi, Alice. I'm Hannah. We're going to be with you in a moment, OK? Just stay away from the fire. Jesus, Robbie, stop her! Stop her! We can't come any further, there's a fire. Please let me drink, my mum lives in yeah, there. Do you have the keys for your mum's flat? No. OK, no. OK, look, we're doing everything we can to get your mother out, but oh you must God. wait downstairs, OK? Checked out the side entrances he identified. He's closed them off. There's definitely no other way in. No. Well, if he's not speaking to you, you can't get him, not now. We wait. That's fine. I'm good at waiting. Jack! Breakfast! How are you getting on? Come on, Nibby. Five more mouthfuls, OK? Four. Five. Jack! Oh, did you manage to get the, um... Yeah. Um, about the, um... Oh, no. Sorry. Mm. Never mind. Jack! On the table. OK, Libby, come on, let's go do your teeth. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, darling. Have a good day. Come on, darling. Right, OK, well, I'll just nip and get you that brochure before you go. Back in a tick. All right. Hey. In case you're wondering, she's the one that's getting married. Congratulations. Thanks. Overrated, if you ask me. Marriage, I mean. Oh. That's promising. Oh, my gosh, you're not gay, are you? No. Yeah. Thing is, I don't reckon there's a gay man alive who can't be turned. Brothers. It's be brother. Interesting. Mm. Back in a tick. So, I suppose I'll we'll see at my mate's wedding, then. I suppose you will, yeah. Oh, sounds like your cab. Again. Oh, what? Uh, if you fancy bringing him along as your plus one. Aha. Uh -huh. ta -ra. Sarah. Although I was daunted at the prospect at the time, I felt I had the support of my husband to be. When you're young, you always think you're prepared for everything. 
And you think you have a knowledge of what's coming ahead? I desperately wanted it to work. I loved my husband, and I wanted to share everything together. And I thought that we were a very good team. What do you think it was that caused your dizziness? Can I be straight with you? I sincerely hope so. I run my own business consultancy. Corporate efficiency, that kind of thing. And uh, times are hard, you know? I put in long hours. I drink too much coffee, probably don't get enough sleep or, or manage my five a day. So you're saying you I'm think this is I'm saying I got a bit stressed after a long day and a few glasses of wine and my friend overreacted. So if you could give me a clean bill of health, then okay. I can go out... Whoa. I am the doctor. Since you are here, why don't we give you a full examination, just to be on the safe well, side? Well, that sounds wonderful, but I have a presentation that I have well, let's to... Let's not waste any time, then, shall we? 